Page, a 30-year-old housewife. I'm a newlywed and I live with my husband, Richard. We're living a happy and calm life every day. Huh? Richard, you didn't finish the lunchbox again. Did you not like it? Or did I make too much? I'm sorry. If you have any ideas or if there's anything you want me to fix, I want you to tell me. Oh, uh, yeah. I was busy at work today, and I didn't have enough break time. The amount is just okay, and the taste is also... I don't know what to say. But thanks anyways. Richard doesn't finish my cooking, not only when he eats the lunchbox I prepared, but also for breakfast and dinner as well. I was wondering why, and I was getting worried. Because I've always been a member of the cooking club in my middle school and high school, so I was pretty confident in my cooking skills. So, what? Your husband doesn't eat your cooking? Yeah, that's right. I have no idea what to do. I don't want to be mean or anything, but maybe his taste buds aren't functioning properly. It's definitely strange for him to not finish your cooking. Really? I'm starting to lose my confidence recently. Or maybe his mom is like a professional cook, and he's so used to her taste that he can't handle the meals we usually eat. Oh right, that's possible. I've actually never tried his mom's cooking before. But I think we're going to have a meal gathering soon at his parents' house, so I'll ask her for some advice. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe the problem is easier than you think. Today I asked my bestie Hannah for some advice. I decided to ask his mom for advice when I had the chance at the meal gathering next week. That was what I thought. A week later, Richard and I went to his parents' house. When we arrived, the table was full of Chinese food and it smelled so nice. Oh, this smell feels like home. The smell makes me so hungry. Paige, Richard, welcome! I'm glad to see you both. Please, help yourself and eat as much as you want today. Thank you so much. My mother-in-law was busy cooking and she looked busy, but so my father-in-law greeted us at the door. When Richard saw the food on the table, Whoa, looks delicious! I love the Chinese food mommy cooks. I haven't had anything proper since this morning, so I'm super excited. W why does he have to word it like that? It sounds like I'm not cooking anything for him. Did he just call her mommy? Oh, Richard and Paige, welcome! Richard, I made your favorite Chinese dishes. You love mommy's Chinese food, right? Yeah, I love them. The mapo tofu mommy cooks, and chili shrimp, stir-fried beef, and spring rolls, they're all delicious! Alright, alright. Eat as much as you want. You can also ask for some more servings. You do the same too, Paige. Uh, th thank you. I sat next to Richard, and waited as she portioned the Chinese dishes in front of us onto smaller plates. Then I took a bite of the mapo tofu. Ah! Huh? What is this? It's so salty! I wanted to spit it out, but when I glanced in Richard's direction... Mmm, so good. They're all so delicious. This is definitely what you call mom's cooking. I hope Paige could cook meals that are this good. Huh? What are you saying? They're all enjoying this really salty taste. And my husband started suddenly acting like I was his enemy. His dad didn't really comment on how good it was, but he was eating it in rather small portions and taking his time. Actually, he was leaving most of it. But there was no way his mom was going to ignore what Richard said. I briefly heard from Richard, but he says that you're not a good cook. He says that you take so long to cook a single dish and you don't cook anything that matches his taste. I was wondering if you were really doing your job as his wife. But I used to be in the cooking club, so it's not like I can't cook. She takes so much time to cook, but her cooking's not good at all. But it's not like she excels in other things like cleaning and doing the laundry. <laughs> anyway, I think she's officially a bad cook. Hey! <laughs> a bad cook? That's such an awful thing to say. I cooked all these dishes in just an hour today. Oh, I, I see. That's great. Paige, how about you visit us twice or three times a week to have a meal with us? Huh? The recipe's a secret, so I can't tell you so easily. But it's up to you to learn from what you ate and felt. Right. I think that's a great idea.
but she usually has a lot of free time. So I hope she can take cooking classes as well. <laughs> okay, alright. Pack some of the leftovers from today into containers and bring them home. You can enjoy them again tomorrow morning. He Yay! It means I don't have to eat Paige's bad cooking tomorrow. I'm super lucky. So mean. Does he have to say something so mean? At the meal gathering at his parents' house, he officially called me a bad cook and I went home feeling aghast. Richard ate his mom's cooking, saying it was delicious, but I couldn't really understand his taste. Because of the umami of the original ingredients were erased by the overuse of different sauces. To be completely honest, it was like I was eating salt and soy sauce directly. But Richard hated my attitude, and as soon as we were alone back home, he suddenly got mad at me. Gosh, why are you so bad at cooking? I thought you'd quickly improve if you practice hard. Ah! Came home feeling happy, but it makes me nauseous when I think about having to endure your bad cooking again, starting tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm planning to take more cooking classes, so can you give me a little bit more time? A little bit more time? There's no point for you taking cooking classes. That's not my mom's cooking. I doubt your cooking would change even if you take cooking classes. But... Why does he have to talk to me like this? I held in my frustration and started taking cooking classes with Hannah who I invited to go with me. I had lost all confidence at this point, so we decided to start from the basics in the beginner's course. Paige, I don't think I have to teach you the basics of cooking. Huh? You're perfect! The way you make the broth, the way you use all the utensils, you pass this course! B but no matter how hard I try, he says I'm a bad cook! Really? The basics of cooking are all about how you make the broth and prepare your ingredients. You're perfect at both, so I doubt you'll ever be called a bad cook unless something bad happens. I... I see. Hey, Paige. Didn't you bring some of the leftovers from your mother's-in-law's cooking? You brought the containers with you today, right? Oh, yeah. Let the teacher try it. I also want to try eating her dishes that your husband absolutely loves. I thought that it was the problem with my taste buds, so I had Hannah and the teacher try her cooking. Then as soon as they took a bite... <coughs> <coughs> hey, Paige, what the hell is this? Is this really Mapu Tofu? I don't even know what I'm eating. They couldn't swallow what they put in their mouths, so they both spat it out. Seeing them do so, I realized that I was right all along, and at the same time, I got really irritated, wondering why I had to be looked down on by my husband and mother-in-law. That day, the teacher of my cooking class told me what my mother-in-law's cooking method was, and it made sense. But the more I listened to her, the more I got mad. Fortunately, they invited me to a meal gathering at their house again this weekend. I thought that it was my chance to get revenge, so I told her about an idea I had. I've been taking cooking classes, so I think my cooking skills improved. I was hoping that you could train my cooking. Oh really? I don't mind doing that. But I'll cook the same thing too in my style. About the menu, how about we both prepare some meat potato stew and spare ribs? Good idea, let's do that. My mother-in-law was very enthusiastic about it. I bet she was really confident in her cooking. When I arrived at my in-law's house, I saw my father-in-law as well as their neighbor, Mrs. Yale and Mrs. Orchid there. Today I want you all to try both of our cooking. Let's decide who the better cook is right here. After saying so, she served the meat potato stew and spare ribs she prepared onto the table. In response, I placed my version next to hers. My version definitely looks better. Her cooking already looks salty. Mommy's cooking already looks better for sure. I know. Okay, everyone. Go and try both of our cooking. You can tell us whatever you think about our cooking. After she said that, she smirked at me triumphantly. Thank you for the meal. Then I'll start by tasting Paige's meat potato stew. As soon as Mrs. Yale and Mrs. Orchid tasted my mother-in-law's cooking... <laughs> Whoa! Why is this so salty? Uh, I can't eat another bite! I'm gonna die early if I finish this! Huh? The first comment they made about her cooking was rejection! On the other hand, my father-in-law tried my cooking. Oh, this is delicious! For the past few decades, I haven't had such a delicious meat potato stew! <laughs> huh? Dad? What are you saying? That's what Paige cooked! There's no way it's good! 
It tastes like nothing. I never want to eat anything like that again! Yes, absolutely. My cooking is definitely the best. Richard and his mom were the only people who praised her cooking. Both her friends, Mrs. Yale and Mrs. Orchid, praised my cooking a lot. It's my first time tasting such a good meat and potato stew and spare rib. I need the recipe! That was what they told me. When I took a quick glance at my mother-in-law, she was glaring at me like a demon. Oh, how scary. And the next moment, Richard and his mom started acting defiant again. You're the only one who understands my taste, Richard. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Your cooking is the best in the world. I don't want to eat anything that's not made by you, Mommy. Uh, how do you season your food while you cook, ma'am? Mommy, I think you can tell them. I know it's a secret recipe, but be nice and tell them a bit. <laughs> tell them what you call mom's taste. <laughs> Everyone waited worriedly to hear what she had to say in this situation. Mom's taste? Oh, the secret is this. As she said that, she pushed the pre-cooked paste into our faces and smirked. Of course, as we all had common sense, we were shocked. It's not that we disliked these pre-cooked pastes. The problem was... I personally add soy sauce, sake, salt, and sesame oil to this paste. And many other ingredients to make my own taste. It's the taste you can never copy no matter how long you spend to figure it out, Paige. Right! No one can copy your taste. I made up my mind. I'll only eat your cooking for the rest of my life. I can't live with Paige any longer. Let's get a divorce. D divorce uh, Well, I don't think I can stay with you two after you said that, and I think our taste buds are too different, so I'm okay with us getting a divorce. The taste test ended with us leading to our divorce. Mrs. Yale and Mrs. Orchid, who were my mother-in-law's friends, said, Hey, getting a divorce just because of this? Richard, I think you should think it through. Yes, I agree. Paige is a wonderful cook. Maybe you can try to accept each other a bit? They tried to talk sense into them. But Richard and even his mom looked the other way and ignored what they said. I also didn't want to feel more stressed, so I decided to agree to our divorce. Well, I guess my plan was a success. We thought it would end with just our divorce, but <laughs> things went even worse after that. I'm getting a divorce with you. I don't think it's worth risking my life to stay with a partner like you. Huh? Uh, wait, wait. No way! What's going on all of a sudden? It's not sudden. I always had this idea on my mind. Yep, that's right. At the same time we decided on our divorce, my in-laws also decided to get a divorce. Well, I really understand how he feels. We can easily imagine what would happen to him in the future if he continues to eat our cooking. I can't help but think his decision made complete sense. After that, Richard and I, and his parents, successfully got a divorce. Of course, my father-in-law and I were so happy! After the divorce, I heard that Richard and his mom were supporting each other and moved into a cheap apartment, but they soon got sick. Richard had high blood pressure, was diagnosed with diabetes, and he had a lot of visceral fat despite his young age. His mom had clogged blood vessels, osteoporosis, and her kidneys were also malfunctioning. It's no wonder, though! So they could no longer maintain a proper job and they ended up being in a lot of debt and they now live in an impoverished life as they work a home job. It serves them right. On the contrary, I went back to work for the company I used to work at, and I'm still taking cooking classes as I work. But I got to reunite with someone unexpected at my cooking class. Huh? Sir, why are you here? <laughs> it must be funny to see an old man like me coming to take a cooking class. <laughs> but I realized something after I ate your cooking page. I realized that there was delicious food in the world. <laughs> Are you talking about the meat potato stew? You were crying while you ate it. Yes, I was moved. I thought I'd have to learn it to cook for myself. I see. And I don't want to end up like them, you know. <laughs> You're right, but cooking is really fun when you get used to it. And it's important to maintain a healthy body. Let's both work hard and learn a lot of recipes. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more! <laughs>